This is going to be a really quick video, just going through one question that I was looking at from previous tests. I found this question on the 2008 AP test. It was on a calculator allowed section of the multiple choice, but what you'll notice as you go through this is this is one of the many examples of a pro time when the calculator is accessible, but it's not necessary in any way. You really won't pick up your calculator at all for this. This is an example of a question that tests your knowledge of the properties of indefinite integrals, and the, what's really nice about this question is it tests multiple properties at once. It is such a common question I've seen on so many different practice tests and actual AP tests, so it's a great one to go through and it also be a big help on your quiz. What I like to do when I look at this problem is look at what I'm trying to figure out and come up with a way to write an equation of my definite integrals. Now, the statement that I can make, and I'm not even going to write f of x, I'm going to write it real generically, is that if I go from negative 5 to 2 of my function, my integral, and then I add that to to an integral that goes from 2 to 5, I get the integral that goes from negative 5 all the way to 5. That was the idea that if I add two parts, I get the whole. That kind of like the summation of integrals. So again, if I go from negative 5 to 2, and then I turn around and go from 2 to 5, put that together, I would get the integral from negative 5 to 5. So now I just want to plug in what I know. I know that the integral from negative 5 to 2 is negative 17. I know that the integral from 5 to 2 is negative 4. What that means is if I switch my boundaries, putting them more in the acceptable way with a lower number on the bottom, that I switch the sign of my answer, so this is actually 4. And what I'm looking for is my total answer. Now the reason I wrote it like that is sometimes they won't give you the end answer. They'll maybe give you say that this is the piece that you don't know. So that's where you put an x. So the other piece is the piece you don't know. So that's where they put an x. You take your definite integrals and you turn it into an equation where you can figure out, okay, this is what I'm missing, so I'm going to say x, and then solve for what your missing definite integral is. This one, I'm just taking negative 17 and adding 4 to it, I get an answer of negative 13, and that is the answer on this multiple choice question. As you can see, it was in a calculator section, never needed to touch a calculator. That's true for about half of the questions on the calculator section. But it is a great way to show how are they going to ask questions of me with properties on an actual AP test. And hopefully that helps you on your quiz as well.